Hey everyone, welcome to TrophyPursuit.com. Just wanted to take a quick second here and tell you about one of our new sponsors here at Trophy Pursuit. It's Bow Addicts Apparel. And uh, they got some cool shirts like this I Speak Elk, which I wear all the time. And uh, they got some, one, some with some cool graphics like One Shot, One Kill. Then they got some faith-based shirts that I really like. It's uh, like Pray Hard, Hunt Hard. It seems like I pray more when I'm in the tree stand than I'm when anywhere else. Uh, this, actually, this shirt that I got on right now has a Bible verse on the back. It says, Be still and know that I am God. We love that kind of stuff here at Trophy Pursuit. And if you're, a, if you're just a God-fearing, turkey-chasing, big deer-killing guy, then bowaddicts.com is the place that you need to go check out. Uh, on this week's webisode is my son, Logan, who uh, is going deer hunting over a real-world food plot. He had been on a, about a two-year dry spell. So his attitude was, if something comes in, he wanted, to, he wanted to shoot. So that's just what he did. It's a great hunt. It's a, it's a nice, quick hunt. I think you're really going to like the webisode. So thanks for following along here at TrophyPursuit.com, where the hunt never ends. It's absolute. Uh, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in shock. TrophyPursuit.com brought to you by Upwind Odor Elimination. Okay, we're running late. Bringing Logan out. Logan's been on a dry spell for a few years, getting sprayed down with upwind here. Before we go out, our wind is kind of iffy. We got a south wind, and this uh, this blind's actually perfect for, with a west wind. Uh, a southwest wind will work. A south wind's kind of iffy so we're going to douse ourselves in this upwind and then uh, get rolling got a nice long walk uh, to a real world food plot so we're going to hurry up and get going My son Logan and I are sitting here over our real world food plot that we planted in August. Uh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah, August. Yeah, August. And so. today is Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. Went shopping with a wife today and got all them duties done. So now we're out sitting over this food plot with about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes left of daylight. This food plot is absolutely tore up. It is just, the turnips are awesome. There's deer trails like I've never seen before on this farm coming to and from the the trail We walked on it was crazy one. Oh, yeah, we've never had a trail like that in this in this uh, on this farm So like a herd of cattle. I know it was so we're locked ready to go. He's using a crossbow tonight He's been saving up for a new compound hasn't saved enough money yet. Maybe he'll have that after Christmas Maybe maybe <laughs> so He's got the two blade rampage dead ringer ready to go on a crossbow. And uh, we're gonna get set up, get quiet, and wait for him to come in. Any mature deer tonight, right? Yeah. He's not, uh, he's the only one in the family that's not got to take a shot this year. So any mature deer that comes in, he's gonna put the hammer down on it. So let's go. Good luck, man. Thanks. Let's get it done. Okay, 
<laughs> Good yes. job, dude. Yes. Freaking smoke. Freaking. <laughs> yes. Hey, Logan's been waiting for that for a while. He hasn't killed a deer in a couple years. We're sitting here over this world world uh, food plot, yes. turnips, and we put an extra little snack for him out there. I'm sure you could see it on this show. If it's legal, we're all for it. And uh, we got a, just, I poured just a little bit of corn out there just to get them to stop in one spot. They've been coming to this food plot and just walking all over, couldn't get them to stand still or nothing. Finally, we got one to stand still in the right spot and Logan smoked her. I bet she didn't go 50 yards. I bet she didn't either. Two blade rampage, whack. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second deer. The second deer, Gracie shot her deer uh, the the two right there, a hundred yards. And remember on that video, I said the food pot's a hundred yards from there, and that two blade rampage where it broke both shoulders. That's the second doe off of this real world food pot. You might as well say. So excellent, man. Big doe down. And Logan freaking smoked her. Good job, freaking dude. Shaking. <laughs> There she is. She's right there. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. My boy, Logan. Two days before gun season starts and he gets it done with the crossbow. Two blade rampage. Perfect shot. 50 yards. The deer went down at 50 yards. Didn't even have to, uh, didn't even have to bend down and look for blood. You just walked across. I mean, it was a 10 second track job. He just walked and it was, it was unbelievable. There's nothing better than hunting with your kids. Mom's all, uh, mom, my wife is the first person that we all call when we shoot one. So it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna get this one, get this one uh, tagged up, get her hung in the barn. Logan's gonna make that all important phone call to his mama. And uh, we're gonna get to the house before dark. Look at the sunset, man. It just doesn't get any better than this right here with my boy. Love you, man. Love you, Big game animals can simultaneously detect obtrusive odors in a matter of seconds. When you enter his world, you're at the mercy of his senses. Eliminate the odor compounds that define your scent identity. Hunt down odors. Hunt upwind. With the numerous food plot seed products available, how do you know which one to plant? Is there really much difference from one to another? Real World Wildlife Seed is striving to set themselves apart from all the other food plot seed companies by having the very best seed blends possible. Real World never uses cheap filler seed or other tricks used by some seed companies. Real World Wildlife Seed wants to educate food plotters and is offering this food plot DVD for just $1. To learn more, go to realworldwildlifeseed.com. See for yourself, there really is a difference. Dare to compare.